All right, so I have this old school Optimus amplifier. There is a MOSFET that is bone, as well as a resistor. Let me zoom in. Hopefully I have those on hand. If not, I have to order it. Oh wow, this thing is fried. Jeez. Look at that. See that middle terminal there? IRFZ44. I don't think I have that. Oh, I need to order those. So I'll be ordering four of those and then resume with this video. Also, I'm going to have to order a resistor. That one right there. Oh, that's that. Put this off to the side. Alright, it's time to fix this amplifier. Before we do that, I'm going to take some photos. Alright, it's time to take this amp completely apart. Very dirty back here. Okay. Set the heat sink off to the side. I'm gonna take off that film without ruining it on the MOSFETs right here. Because we're gonna reuse that. Try not to rip this. Here we have it. Get that middle leg. Just a little bit, wiggle it back and forth, nice and slow. And come in, there's one. There's two. Last one. And there's three. Clean in here real quick with a Q-tip. What a mess! What a mess! I'm gonna leave that one alone for now. Ooh, and I just ripped over here. This is so fragile, it's ridiculous. You know what, man? Jesus Christ. This is bad, really bad. All right, let me see something. Yeah. Really bad. Okay, 
Let me put those new ones in here and start freaking laying some solder down. That's it. It's gonna go wipe shit. I need four of them. One, two, three, four. So these four right here, I'm about to attack them with some fresh solder. Let's do this. Oh, wait a minute, I got a problem. One of the beacon legs, the veers came off. That's this one. So that one was in there, okay. You know what, I know what to do. It's not a problem. We'll, uh, we'll figure this out as we go along. There we So here's the last one. Yep, it's fucked. I'm gonna have to make a jumper for that one. Well, it looks like shit, but I gotta clean it up, make sure nothing's touching in between those traces. And uh, fix this damn leg. I'm gonna have to put a jumper from here to here, which is not a problem. Just gotta find the right thing. All right, I'm doing surgery over here. Making my own trace over here. To go from one side to another. I have to use these scissors and try to snip this off. In order to, oh, did I do it wrong? Oh no! Actually, yeah, that work. Like that, not just go like this over. And okay, now I can heat it up, and hopefully I can go from one leg to another. All right, we're gonna go to nine volts. Just a second. Then, the moment of truth. Actually, I'm gonna take off the camera and show you what do I got going on over here. All right, so down here I have a foot pedal, which the camera stands blocking. Okay, that's my foot pedal. It's coming over here. I have, uh, this one's going to the power output. This is going for the output itself. So there's of my traces I'm reading already something so probably reading that but let me press foot pedal and see what happens and whoa I got power yeah, I got power it's a little sloppy let me double check green light that's a good sign Come on, it's light shout out to the dog Okay, what I'm gonna do now is on that trace, which is number, um, holy shit, I'm missing something. On one, I'm gonna put it off. Wait, right, was it two? Let's see. Yeah, it was two. Now I gotta bring that one down. All right, give me a second, cause this shit's getting crazy. Hold on. Me, ooh, that's hot. That ain't good. This one's hot. That's not good. Something's up. It is working, however, but I gotta measure that one. All right, let me uh, figure this out. All right, I had to replace this MOSFET because the other one I put in there, I guess, was defected, or maybe I overheated it and fucked it up. Let's see what we have here. Ah, it's looking a lot better. Just gonna make sure this is all right. Fire it up, see if it works. All right, there was a few issues I found along the way. Originally, this MOSFET bone 
that crazy? That was here. You can see that little bizarre there. It's because there's no trace underneath, so I had to double that on both sides so the legs can uh, stay stationary. Other thing I found was this little resistor. I went through two of them, testing it out. Those were the wrong ohms. Closest one that I had on hand was this one, which is 100 ohms. The original ones test out to be near 100. It's probably about 900. So it's working out beautiful now. Also, cap a uh, capacitor. This one was completely blown. You can see it bulging up top. There's nothing going to it. Also, when I was installing these, because of further problems that I didn't didn't know about, which was the capacitor, I blew out brand new MOSFET. So that one's totally trash. So now I have nine volts. I got a pedal down here. She's on. You're seeing the light. Let me cover that. Let's see. It's green. Okay. Grab the probe here. Check out the screen. Got power going to them. Also output. Beautiful. Oops, bad. Output, output, output. Looking real good. Yep. Also, you're not getting hot, which they were earlier because of these other problems. That's why I blew this one out. Literally started smoking. Nice and cold, not warming up. I've got it at 9 volts. Pretty soon I'll put it to 12. I'm going to clean her up further, which I already cleaned a lot of it in the rear. And uh, put it all back together. She is ready for a new home. This is the side I repaired. I want to make sure nothing's touching that. Time to hook her up. So let's see what we have here. 
background. Remote. All right. RCA. that up. Okay. Mode. There it is. It's playing. She's not on. She's doing good. Hey, shout out to my foot. <laughs> 